There was once a rule that said on a new aircraft, 80% of the value is in the airframe and 20% in the engines. But with new aircraft pricing increasing at a rate far below the general inflation rate, or in some cases remaining completely stagnant, the escalation of spare engine values and engine maintenance costs at multiples of CPIU has led to a change in the old rule. Firstly, it is worth mentioning that the engine values in this analysis refer to spare engine values, which closely follow list price for in-production types, whereas installed engines are generally discounted at 40% or more during negotiations. Between 2001 and 2019, the value of two engines as a portion of overall aircraft value increased from less than 30% for the A320-200 to 53%, and for the 737-800, it steadily climbed to 59%. This rapid growth in engine share of value raises some serious questions. When looking at twin owls, the value of spare engines starts at a lower percentage of new aircraft value and experiences what appears to be a lower rate of escalation. The spikes at end of production for both types are due to end-of-line discounting of the aircraft as they exit production yet the associated engines do not experience such a drop-off of value within the same time frame. So where does the next generation of aircraft stand as they are being delivered today? This chart makes it clear that the trend continues with the 320neo and 737max8 entering service with between 55 and 57% of their value contained in engines on delivery. If this is their starting point, then how many years will it be before the engines dominate the value and part out starts to be lucrative? Projecting forward, a 10 year old Leap or GTF part A320neo has 95% or more of its value contained in its engines, while a 737 MAX 8 has 98%. Spare engines on new production twin owls remain at under 45% of value perhaps a sign that aircraft manufacturers are still able to command a significant premium for long-haul aircraft. Meanwhile, at 10 years of age, the value of the two engines versus the whole aircraft is a good 20% lower on twin owls than it is on single owls. So what can we glean from these charts? By using such a high rate of escalation, engine OEMs can harm themselves in the long run. A rising cost in maintenance implies rising engine values as a portion of the overall aircraft value. In turn, this can lead to earlier aircraft retirement to extract the value in the engines, with lessers being the most likely culprits. This has knock-on effects for the engine OEMs, because if part-outs start occurring earlier, they create alternative spare parts supply in the market and threaten OEM aftermarket revenue. But also, with a shorter aircraft lifespan, the OEM is drawing less revenue from any long-term service agreements they may have with the airlines.